Hello grade 10! Once again, I'm your teacher Manina and today we're going to discuss one of the main classes of biomolecules, carbohydrates. If you remember in grade 9, you learned the bonding characteristic of carbon that may result in formations of large variety of compounds. And these compounds belong to the main classes of biomolecules, carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. So, what is carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are micronutrients and are one of the three main ways by which our body obtains its energy. It consists of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Carbohydrates are essential nutrients that include sugar, fibers, and starch. They are found in grains, vegetable, fruits, and in milk and the other dairy products. These are basic foods group which play an important role in a healthy life. There are three classifications of carbohydrates. 1. Monosaccharides Monosaccharide is a simple sugar and it is a basic unit of carbohydrates. One important monosaccharide is glucose. It is the major carbohydrates of the body, also known as blood sugar or dextrose. Next, galactose. It is the sugar found in milk. Fructose. Fructose is the sugar found in many fruits. And here is the structural organization of monosaccharides. Notice that the chemical formula is the same for glucose, galactose, and fructose. The difference is the arrangement of its molecules. The second classification of carbohydrate is disaccharides. It consists of two monosaccharide molecules that are combined together, or chemically combined. There are three disaccharides that are separately important from the biological points of view. The first one is sucrose, which is a combination of two monosaccharides glucose and fructose known as table sugar so another kind of disaccharides is lactose lactose is a combination of glucose and galactose this sugar is commonly found in milk maltose maltose is a combination of glucose and glucose this is found in the sprouting grain these are the structural organizations of disaccharides which is sucrose lactose and maltose next classifications of carbohydrates is polysaccharides polysaccharides is a complex carbohydrates and can be hydrolyzed into many monosaccharides units there are three most important polysaccharides first is the start it is the shelf storage form of carbohydrates in plants and the most important source of carbohydrates in human nutrition Another kind of polysaccharides is glycogen. Glycogen is called an animal starch. It is a macro macromolecules and it can be produced or found in animal and human liver and muscle. The last example of polysaccharides we have is the cellulose. It is the main structural component of plant cell wall. Cell wall is composed of a bunch of sugar molecules which is so durable that gives the plant shapes and strength. These are the structural organizations of polysaccharide from starch, glycogen, and cellulose. Carbohydrates is very essential in our body. Its primary function is to supply energy to all cells of our body. Carbohydrates are also essential parts of our diet. Have you heard about high and low carb diet? Some health-conscious individuals is very particular of what we call a high and a low-carb intake. Do we really need to consider this low and high-carb intake in our health habit? Studies show that we should think about an overall diet rather than a single micronutrients intakes. And that's it for now. See you next week.